name is Darren, the CEO and co-founder of Unigrate Battery. Uh, at Unigrate, our team uh, is, is formed of by PhD graduates from UC San Diego. And uh, we are working to develop advanced sodium ion batteries for clean energy storage applications. Uh, and yeah, that's the gist of what we are working on. So uh, I think the United States set a lot of ambitious goals uh, to achieve things like uh, uh, carbon reductions, a net zero economy. And to achieve all these things uh, by a certain date, we need terawatt hours of both renewable energy generation and battery storage. Uh, but there's not enough lithium in the world to do this job. But thankfully, the United States is blessed with 90% of the world's sodium reserves, which is uh, more than a thousand times more abundant than lithium. And this is, presents us with a tremendous opportunity to use all these resources to power our electric grid. Today we put so much sodium in our foods and in our bodies, we should instead put more sodium in our batteries, in our homes, in our offices and workplaces. And uh, yeah, we envision that in the near future, uh, energy storage will be as ubiquitous as food storage and water storage. Today, everybody at home has water and food storage. In the near future, you know, we, everybody's going to be able to store electrons at home. You're going to have a refrigerator for electrons. You're going to have a water tank for electrons, not just at home, at office, at communities, uh, anywhere that you need affordable, safe, and reliable electricity. And uh, that's what we set out to do. Uh, when we think of batteries, we always think of lithium-ion batteries. So our sodium-ion batteries, uh, firstly, will seek to half the cost of lithium-ion. Because lithium ion today is still too expensive, payback times are too long, so what we want to do is shorten that by half. Secondly, we also uh, provide chemistries that are a lot safer, so we want to eliminate all this fire hazard risk, uh, not just to lower the risk, but bring it down to zero, uh, so that people can feel safe to put all these things where they live and where they work, where they play. Uh, I think most importantly also, we eliminate all the critical materials, things like lithium, cobalt, materials that are very hard to get and not available here. So we can eliminate a lot of the import reliance on all these materials and potentially do it all domestically. And uh, uh, Overall, we offer, a, uh, we also have a unique alloy-based anode technology that allow us to double the volumetric energy densities of conventional sodium ion batteries. So if you take all these parts in, as a whole, uh, what we do is offer a balance of both sufficient energy density and performance as well as cost effectiveness. And that's something that conventional lithium ion and sodium ion cannot provide. That's a, a great question. I think the Inflation Reduction Act has tremendous potential in the sodium ion field. Uh, reason being that in, when we look at lithium, <coughs> at some point upstream of the supply chain, you need to import these materials, be it at the mining stage, refining stage, material stage. Uh, so the, the, the potential is, is that's a limit to where you can reap the benefits of incentives. But in sodium ion, because the raw materials are available in the United States domestically, there's uh, potential for us to establish the entire sodium supply chain domestically. And um, the IRA offers a lot of incentives for us to accelerate this adoption and process. You're absolutely right. Asia has been the you know, battery manufacturing hub for the last few decades and will likely continue to be so. Um, that's not where we should co directly compete. Uh, companies like us in the United States have always stayed ahead through superior and advanced technology. Our goal is to always ensure that we are one to two steps ahead of everybody else, uh, that we offer the best product, the most cost effective, the best performance, the best utility for end users. And um, through this method, we can always ensure people will always come to us. They always want to work with us. And uh, that will be our continued strategy forward. There are lots of learning in entrepreneurship journeys. I think compared to other jobs I've taken in the past, you know, entrepreneurship has a lot more ups and downs. And uh, I think something I, I grow to recognize is uh, that support from family, close friends, and mentors are a 
extremely important. Um, without this, I think uh, a lot of the tough times will be a lot difficult, more difficult to go through. And without their you know, emotional, psychological, and sometimes financial support, uh, we wouldn't get to where we are. And uh, I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, I think looking at the current market situation, uh, sodium ion batteries look, look to be the next battery wave to come. Um, if we look at Asia, they have started sodium ion batteries over the last two to three years, and it's starting to hit the United States right now. Today, we are probably the pioneers in advanced sodium ion chemistries. Uh, we address a lot of the fundamental problems there. And I think we aim to be or emerge as the, the leader in North American markets for sodium ion battery adoption. And we want to um, be the first, take, the, take as much advantage as possible being the first movers and uh, get into the market before uh, a lot of the other competition arise. Thank you.